somewhere. Take a look at ALCX and a few of the coins to uh, continue the night. We get a lot of stuff moving around in the market. Well, I should say a few things going on, which has been, you know, definitely a nice very glad to be back off the weekend had a definitely good rest and uh i hope everybody's out there having a good weekend <laughs> a good weekday after the weekend so you know it's been you know it was action packed it's uh you know full of uh <laughs> it was a good holiday and uh you know but had a lot of stuff going on as well so uh we <laughs> so we got alcx coming at 32 17 we have you know we had and you and keeps making some moves to the upside definitely excited to see where that action's going because you know we all knew so so <laughs> we all knew we were supposed to keep it, but you know, <laughs> so for those of you that were holding in that price action, definitely excited for you. I hope everybody's making some money out there tonight. And uh, we got ALCX at 32.17. You know, when we, we began the market this, you know, this, this past round, keeping news started making some movement to the upside. And then, you know, it wasn't too long afterwards where everything else started making some movement to the upside. So, you know, are we going to, are we breaking out of this downtrend? You know, that just remains to be seen. Could be just getting a little relief rally up to the upside. I still got some people out there talking about some lower price action. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely out here lurking. We're still <laughs> it's still on the table until we start seeing those, uh, cro until we start crossing those 786s on the way back up. Uh, as far as decent recovery, you know, I'm still out here lurking for that lower price action. So <laughs> taking a look at ALCX. As far as, you know, making some movement to the upside, we have to get back over that 786 at 49.34, grab some uh, support and consolidation and start making our way up towards that 618 at 67.44. So, you know, if we do get denied there at the 786, could possibly see some consolidation down to some lower price action where we're going to test that 26.29 again. If we do lose that price action at 26.29, I'm definitely out here looking for some lower price action. But if we can get back over that 786 at 49.34 and start making some movement to the upside, uh, you know, definitely could be seeing some bullish movement to the upside. But as far as breaking that downtrend we got to get back over that 134.01 and start making some movement to the upside so keep an eye on that price action keep an eye on btc we'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at and you always got to remember that this is not financial advice these are my views and opinions on the market only and you always got to do what's right for you so everybody in the lcx good luck Bumped up to lcx lcx getting a little bit of love out there is it gonna make some movement to the upside <laughs> Definitely excited to see. Looks like we made it back up over that 786 at 0.073. Are we going to start seeing some bullish moves to the upside? That, you know, definitely remains to be seen. I've been loving that price action. Looks like we're trying to get that higher high in. You know, definitely seeing some bullish movement. <laughs> so we can get that support to hold that 0.0703. Start making some moves up, moving up to that 618 at 0.0883 three and start seeing some movement to the upside that would be definitely some bullish moves to the upside we still got to break out of this downtrend so you know as far as getting out of this downtrend we, we got to get back over that point one five four two grab some support and consolidation start making some movement to the upside so that would be the awesome amazing bullish scenario with btc being so undecided <laughs> we definitely keep it on that support at the 786 at 0.0703 if we do lose that support definitely consolidate it down to some lower price action so i'm definitely out here lurking for that lower price action but some green candles would be good too so i'm definitely excited to see where we're going with that price section so everybody in lcx everybody in lcx good luck we do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at moving up to xlm and making some movement to the upside looks like it's you know giving it a go uh <laughs> trying to make it over that 618 we definitely gotta get it over that 1.1543 grab some sport consolidation start making some movement to the upside as far as getting out of this downtrend we gotta get back over that 0.2385 grab some sport consolidation start making some movement to the upside we get xlm coming in at amazing price action 0 0.1443 uh, i hope everybody got some <laughs> Good accumulation. Are you going to see some lower price action? That just remains to be seen. I, I'm, you know, I'm definitely excited to see where we're going. People making some money out here, and uh, that's when it gets exciting. So we got XLM coming out one four four three. Keep an eye on that price action. And uh, as far as you know, seeing some lower prices. If we do get denied at that six one eight at point one five four three, could possibly see some consolidation down to that seven eight six at point one three one five. If we do lose that price action at point one three one five. Definitely to see some lower price action, and I'm out here lurking for that 0.1023, you know. But we could possibly see some sideways action with BTC being so undecided. So, but we definitely got to keep an eye on that 
we're at 0 0.1315. So keep an eye on price action. We'll do a follow-up video tomorrow and see where we're at. Everybody in XLM, good luck. Moving on up to NKN. NKN, I've been, you know, keeping my eye on NKN. Here we are. Are we going to see some movement to the upside? You know, I've been loving this accumulation price action. I'm definitely excited. Are we just, you know, getting a relief rally? You know, a little bit of relief rally? Are we just going to get some cash? Are we going to, you know, I mean, are we... You know, where's, where's, where's it going, you know? It just remains to be seen. Uh, you know, I still got a lot of people out there talking about some lower price action. So, and I'm definitely out here lurking. Uh, you know, if we can go over that 0 0.30 and start making some movement to the upside, break out of this downtrend, you know, that would definitely be the best scenario as far as, uh, you know, <laughs> get some movement to the upside. Coming in at 0 0.1067, uh, you know, just underneath that uh, resistance at uh, the 628 at 0.1069. So if we can make it over that 0.1069, grab some support consolidation, make our way up to this 0.1214. Definitely looking like some bullish moves to the upside. As far as getting some breakout action, uh, we definitely got to get back over that 0.1827, grab some support consolidation, start making some movement to the upside. So keep an eye on that price action. I'm definitely excited to see where we're going with NKN. NKN, loving that price action. Been loving that price action since we since we dropped below 44. <laughs> so here we are at 0 0.1067. Definitely excited to see where we're going with that price action. So uh, keep an eye on that support at the 618 at 0.1069. If we do lose that support, I mean, or if we do get back over that support and start making some movement to the upside, that would be definitely bullish. But if we do lose that support at the 618, or if we can't get through it, we're definitely going to consolidate down to the 786 at 0.0864. So we definitely got to keep an eye on this support at the 786 if we do get denied at the 618. So uh, keep an eye on that support at the 786 at 0.08640. And for everybody to know the coins we talked about tonight, good luck. And you always got to remember this not financial advice. These are my views and opinions on the market only. <laughs> you always got to do what's right for you. So you always have a good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night. Mr. Big Braids is signing out.